Hey guys, I want to talk to you more about lobster fishing and standing next to me is Steve from Promar and we're going to talk to you a little bit more about the gear you need to be successful at using hoop nets to catch lobsters here in Southern California. And Steve, thanks for coming back. Thanks for having us. So we talked a little bit last time about the different styles of hoop nets. What are some of the other things that people need? So some of the other things that people are going to need for, you know, getting out on the water and doing some hoop netting. You definitely want to have a float, obviously, to mark where your hoop net is in the water. Right. Um, you want a bait cage, and I, I prefer using seal-proof bait cages because you never know when a seal is going to be around and they're going to get they're into your hoop. There. Yeah, you're, they're going to get into your hoop nets and scare away any lobsters that may be in the area. And then in order to mark your um, buoys, you want some lights, either some simple break and glow light sticks or some battery powered light sticks which uh, Promar offers both which is really cool. These are battery powered, they'll last a long time and they come with extra batteries when you purchase them so when these go out you can just switch them out. Cool. Yeah. Now if you're going to be putting a light on there and I recommend you put a light on your float there's nothing more frustrating than being out there lobster fishing and you're driving around over an area and you're focused on the GPS to make sure you're getting to the rock you want to get to, you're looking at the fish finder to make sure you're over that rock, and then someone's got hoop nets on the spot already, but they don't have lights on it, and you don't want to get those ropes wrapped in your props because you could end up in the rocks and it gets really dangerous, especially if there's any weather at all. So when you put the lights in here, let me have one of those lights. Sure. If you just put a light in here and you don't put a weight in the float, it's going to flip over. So it's really important that you drill out. <laughs> so if you put a light in your float and you don't add a weight to your float, the float's just going to flip over and you're never going to see the light. So it's very important that you put a, a drill hole back here, put in a sinker. I normally use six or eight ounce sinkers. Put it in here and then you're going to put foam on top of that so it seals the float and the water doesn't penetrate and soak up the float. And it's really important that you do that so that when your hoop net is out there and your float's sitting on the water, it's going to stand straight up like that. You're going to see the light very good at a long distance and it's not going to be on the side. It's going to be straight up like that, make it very easy to see your hoop nets. And if you have your 10 hoop nets scattered in an area, sometimes it's hard to find them. But if your light is standing straight up, you're going to have a much easier time you're going to spend less time looking for gear and more time checking your hoop nets and catching lobsters. Right. Perfect. Perfect. Anything else you'd add to that? No, I think that's pretty much it as far as rigging your buoy. Yeah. Uh, one last tip about rigging your hoop and your float if you've never done it before. I like to put the rope so that the rope goes in and points toward the hoop net. And a good way to do that is on the back end here, the end of your rope, add a sinker. Add another six ounce sinker so that any loose line you have is going to go straight down toward the hoop net. It's not going to be laying on the surface, something that you could drive over or another vessel could drive over. So you want this floating just like that all by itself with one line going down toward the hoop net and the other line on the back just going straight down the bottom of the water or suspended down but away um, from the surface going straight down. That way, no vessels can drive over. It makes it nice and safe, makes it clean. So when you slide up to it, you grab your gaff, you get the front part of the line, so you get the float in the boat. And then once you get the float in the boat, you just bring the hoop net. When you're bringing the hoop net in, you don't have to be fast. You just can't stop, I would say, my right. one tip. <clears throat> as soon as you slow down, that's when the lobsters like They'll to hop jump out. out. Right, exactly. Yeah, and they <clears throat> will hop out. I've seen it happen many, many times. <laughs> Yeah, and when at last tip, and this happened to me a few times, had lobsters on the outside of the hoop net, and I tried to stop thinking I could slide it underneath, don't do that. If you have a lobster on the outside of the hoop net, you're at the surface, just bring it into the boat. If it falls out, hopefully it's going to fall out in the boat, but just bring it straight in the boat. Don't stop. Once you stop, that's when they let go and they jump off. Right, exactly. Steve, where can our viewers find more information about your products? So you guys can go on promarnets.com. We're also on social media, so you can find us on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube as well. We put up a lot of videos on our instructional videos on how to use our products and what new stuff is coming out by us. 
And a lot of the local tackle stores like Turner's Outdoorsman carry your products. Absolutely. Almost every local tackle store has our stuff in and, stock. And Turner's has it too. Yeah, Turner's absolutely has our products. Cool. And what's the thing about the tape? Yeah, so this is the reflective tape that we do, the Promar does. And a lot of people will actually wrap it around their buoys because what it does is when you shine a flashlight, everybody uses flashlights out right. there. When you shine your flashlight at it, it actually reflects it just as much as you're shooting it at it. So you get a bright emission from it, and you can see it's a lot easier to see. It's at a, a distance, yeah, it's, it's a lot, lot easier to see. Right, exactly. It's a, lot easy, it's a lot easier to see at a distance. Cool. All right, well, that's today's little video blog. We have probably one more for you. Talk about some more gear for lobster fishing. And uh, the number one way to catch lobsters is to get out of the house, onto the ocean, or go to a pier and drop a hoop net. You're never going to catch them watching videos. So. Get outside and do it. And again, if you're looking for gear and you don't have any, think about getting the Promar hoop nets. That's what we use here on Sport Fishing. I use them on my private charters and they work out really good. Well, thanks, Steve. Thanks for having us, Dan. All right, that's today's video blog. We'll talk to you all really soon. Thanks for watching.